Hey, this is Doug with Design 8 Studio. A few moments ago, I uploaded a video, very short video, about how to use the jackpot controller board. Specifically, part of the video I showed how to assign a file, a script file with some probing commands in it to have a macro button on the, the web UI interface that would invoke that script. And it just occurred to me that I didn't really show how to save a script and how to upload that script to the jackpot. Also, one quick correction. I misspoke. Uh, I mentioned putting the script on the SD card, yet on the screen at the time as I created the macro, I left the target saying that the script would be on the ESP on the jackpot board instead of on the SD card. You would want the script located uh, in the place where the target is pointing to. So if you had your script on the SD card, the target should say SD card. If the script is on the ESP, the target should say ESP. So I have a text edit document open and I've pasted some uh, G-code in there that would basically be a simple probing script. And uh, I'll put this in the description of the video. And I've saved this onto my hard drive. And now what I would do is on my Wi-Fi, I will change from my home Wi-Fi to the access point Wi-Fi of the Fluid NC. And let me just slide this down out of the way because I need to use the actual um, browser-based version of it. And when you first connect to the ESP it brings you into this interface this is what it looks like on a computer as opposed to a phone and you can do file management on this fluid NC tab so if I click on this we'll see first of all there are some flash settings and some config items but at the top there are there's system status manage local files and that's referring to managing local files stored on the ESP's built-in flash storage. And then you can also upload, uh, you can also update the firmware wirelessly over the air, reboot the jackpot, and refresh the list of settings. But if I'm gonna if I click on manage local files, we'll see that the macro script files that I made reference to in the previous video are present those macros come default from the firmware that Ryan provides preloaded onto a jackpot before he mails it out. But you'll notice that it says that I'm using 160 kilobytes out of 192 kilobytes. So space is tight, but a script for probing is not a big thing. It's usually six, seven, eight kilobytes. So I could afford to spare a few more kilobytes for another script and you can streamline how many kilobytes it takes by removing comments that explain to you what the g-code does and that will make the g-code's contents more cryptic and later you might forget what those codes mean so you have to make that decision on your own but i can upload files so if i click here and i browse to the correct location on my hard drive we'll see that i saved this uh, probe.g and it's 700 bytes so I can upload that and now you'll see that now probe.g is listed on the internal files stored on the ESP itself and that now means that the macro that I created the macro button that I created in the previous video now actually has a file that it can invoke when it is tapped so just a quick update, I wanted to show that uh, so that uh, I wouldn't leave you hanging on that. And so I can now simply close that and, uh, and go back to the uh, main dashboard. And there you can see the, the probing button that I created. By the way, I found an icon that looks more probe-ish and it was this one. This looks to me like we're probing down 
to the material. I like that icon. This is where I was mentioning that if the script is on the SD, the target should say SD. But my script is now on the ESP itself in the jackpot. So I'm going to save this. And now my macro button is ready to go. Again, this has been Doug with Design 8 Studio. If you like our content, please click like and consider subscribing. And as always, until the next video, I wish you happy making.